I know this for sure. As a businessman, illegal businessman, a politician, a criminal, a drug dealer, if you want to hide your money, if you want to hide money without the government penetrating your source, your money, the best way to hide your money is to open the record label through entertainment. All sign a bunch of artists. Or be friends with many, many artists. Hide your money through them. Those are artists, they can just see the way that they are making close to $1 billion a year and nobody will question them. Yeah. If you want to hide money, I'm giving you a spoon now. If you want to hide money as a criminal or as a politician or as an illegal businessman, if you want to hide your money, just be friends with those said musicians. Hide their, hide your money in their account. Government will not ask any question. Nobody will tamper with your money. David Doe just uh, sorry, I said David Doe, brother boy. I don't know why David Doe is in my mouth now. You know, I've been talking about David Doe a lot lately. That guy they always make news. In fact, he also made this news. <laughs> The other video I made, someone accused David Doe of collecting bad kidney. <laughs> God, people are crazy. I can't still even get over that uh, discussion. Please try as much as possible to check out the video. So, the brother boy just decided to gift himself a brand new Ferrari. And this Ferrari is worth several hundred thousand US dollars. That's the market value, what you don't know. As soon as it comes down to Nigeria, it's no longer several hundred thousand US dollars. It's like one million US dollars. I'm going to explain it to you. So this Ferrari is uh, brand new from uh, Bonaboy who recently received it. And uh, it's not a joke. It's a real fact. Because that's the Ferrari at Bonaboy's house. Ferrari 812 GTS. That's the name of the Ferrari. Newly bought and uh, packaged down to Nigeria. And again, the reason why I said it's no longer several hundred thousand US dollars because that's the market value because of duty. In America, when you want to buy a car, when you buy seven hundred, if, if the market value is seven hundred thousand US dollars, you pay seven hundred thousand US dollars for that car, you will take it home. But as in Nigeria, when you buy the car seven hundred. Uh, Several hundred thousand US dollars abroad. Shipping it down to Nigeria, of course, is going to pay custom duty. Custom duty is as high as 25 30% of the total cost you bought that car. As high as 25 30% of the total cost you bought that car. So let me say, it's going to be spending extra 200 or something thousand US dollars on that car to get it down to Nigeria. Except there's a waiver, or except there's another means they use in reducing the cost or whatsoever. But if he wants to follow the due process normally, eh, he's going to spend additional 200 something thousand US dollars to get that car to Nigeria. So this is why I respect Nigeria artists eh, buying cars eh, than this American artist. When a Nigeria artist in Nigeria tell you that yes, he bought this car, they ship it down to Nigeria, you should give him way more respect than. Any international artist that bought same car and ship it down to his house over there. It's not easy. Ordinary cars make we see for here. Corolla make we made a go buy like a one million naira abroad. By the time one shipper come here, it don't go to like three million naira. And by the time the one can sell like that, they go like four million naira. You see, it's not easy. It's not easy. Oh. It's not easy. And they're talking about the exchange rate again. So Bona boy Odogu, where you did get this money from? I hope it, get, it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, I cannot hate. I can't hate, man. I can't hate on that kind of money. That kind of money long. I can't hate on it, guys. I can't hate on it. On it. And the uh, mayor cool who uh, announced a few days ago that he misplaced. Oh no, the stone is a diamond pendant. Well, he found one in Yanya with the help of Inyanya. Let us not forget. With the help of Inyanya, Mayoku found one, and another one just came down, uh, came to him now. And five million naira ransom was paid. 
This is the other pendant that uh, Mayor Ku just received. And 5 million naira was paid in order to retrieve this pendant. 5 million ba was paid in order to retrieve this pendant. And with the help of Inyaya. Inyaya is the only artist that came out to expose, to say, to to announce it to the general public that Miyoku said chain and a diamond a pendant were stolen. And there's a video to back it up. And the state governor said is going to uh, compensate Miyoku, compensate Miyoku over his uh, troubles and everything. And I don't know if he actually compensated him. And I pray Miyoku shouldn't be the one to pay for that ransom. The state governor should be the one to pay for that ransom because Miyoku was there to perform not to incur extra cost so the state governor to pay for that ransom because you guys invited me yoko yoko came honor your invitation and there you know the steal from her Abba, how much you appear and make when i won't steal that kind of thing from her so big up to me yoko me yoko has received his pendant no issue at all he has gotten it back eh? there is no matter at all so i'm so so happy that he's finally got it back so let's talk about david and sophia Babolu. there's a reason i said it that every time a david don't bust to make the news if you are talking about the only entertainer for the past decade that has been uh, talked about the most well lie i would say david o. david o is the only entertainer for the past 10 years constantly being on the news Constantly, that they do. He said that an allegation is coming from inside or from his home, or someone is accusing him somewhere, or is making music move, or is the one getting himself into trouble. But they will do the most talk about David Do that good or bad. He may not come from people's mouth. I give her that one. That was makes him so so relevant up to this day. And again, for his work though, I don't want to take that from him. For his work as well, it's so so good. So now his ex baby mama, not ex, his baby mama, his former girlfriend Sophia Mamadou, re re reveal a secret message between their daughter Imadi to someone, and Imadi wasn't happy. Imadi stressed that. According to Lida AKJ, how they uh, sorry, according to Easter blog, how they tagged it, they said, uh, I've been disappointed since my brother passed away. My dad wasn't there when I needed him. I've been disappointed since my brother passed away, and my dad wasn't there when I needed him. That is coming from a maddie. That she is disappointed since if I passed away, and meanwhile David Do wasn't there when he needed, when she needed him. You know this family problem, and uh, if you want to read the message, you can go on to read the message. Uh, but I don't want to read it. This family problem, and again, Sophia Momodo revealing this family secret to public, honestly. That means you're asking for public opinion. So people are going to give their opinion now. They will say, oh, why you not they talk over people matter? And meanwhile, you brought it to public domain. And by bringing that, you're already asking people to have their say on it. You understand what I mean? So why people would not know now, but they talk, say, no, I'm not supposed to talk. This is a family matter. It's no longer family matter. It's public matter. And again, firstly, so if you're Mamadou, a pub, a family matter, you shouldn't have posted it on your page because your page is not private. Your page is public and has over 400,000 followers. Come on. There is no need to post it. But you posted it anyway. Then I think we, everyone have a say. Let me know exactly how you feel about that. And imagine, yeah? honestly speaking, we are very, very bright girls. And I don't intend to speak on your issue because I believe your mom should be able to tell you all the good things that David Doha has been doing for you and your mother. Hmm? 
See, baby mama, no day easy. Oh, I'm telling you the truth. Baby mama, no day easy. Baby mama, no day easy. You can give them billions, millions all your life, but as long as you are not with them, eh, they will never appreciate it. And it's going to affect your child as well. Say, so, Madi, eh, there are videos they are proof of how they do carry your butterfly for head. So he never relented. So maybe after, as you grow up, you're going to see those videos. They are proof. They are all on the internet. You think you the hide. No matter what your mother talk, video proof and the bills is paying every time. We will speak for him. But I don't know what they are going through though, but I uh, wish them all the best. I don't want to really have a say on that particular if any money has been no matter because I don't know what is really up. I don't know what is going on around their means and everything. But social no supposed post that kind of thing. 